This No Man's Sky video has six splendid sentinel ships. Before you go ship hunting, remember to turn multiplayer completely off. After that, we can now go to ship number one. All ships can be found in Euclid, and here's the portal code for the first ship. There's a land on the planet, and look for the Comball. This one was posted by Kev. As a fly there, all the ships in this video are found by the guys over in the coordinates exchange over on Facebook. So if you want to see their latest finds and so much more, go to the link in the description or click on the link that's about to appear in the top right corner. This is the planet location for this particular ship. As I claim this ship, you can see it's a C-Class, but after the showcase, I'll be upgrading it to an S-Class to find out how the supercharged slots are laid out. Now it's upgrading time, I'm going to upgrade it to S-Class and of course if need be I'll add more tech slots if required but remember different ships in different locations of the planets will have different layouts but if you like a ship but the supercharged slots are not laid out the way you want it to be you can always farm the planet for different ships maybe keep a couple in reserve then when you find the perfect one or one close to perfect you simply sell the ones you don't want So here's the S-Class supercharged slot layout and the specs. Okay, ship number two. Here's the portal code. As a land on this planet, this one was found by David. Thank you, David. When I find the combo, I'll head there. At this location, there's a base. And here's a planet location if you need it. It's a B class, so let's claim the ship. To get into space, have a closer look, then upgrade it to find out what we've got. Not perfect, but it's not too bad. Ship number three, here's the portal code with a convenient pause. This one was found by Sam. Thank you, Sam. As a head to the com ball for this one, if you're not sure how to claim a sentinel ship. I'll have a tutorial in the description. 
and it'll appear in the top right now. This one's a C-Class. And here's the planet location if you need it. Upgraded to an S class, two batches of two, not too bad. Ship number four, here's a portal cord with a convenient pause. There's a land in the planet, this one was found by Davy. Thanks Davy. No combo, so I'll have to pop a Dreadnought AI fragment. It's not far from the portal, but here's the planet location if you need it. This one is a B class, you might find better. When upgraded to an S class, the supercharged slots are quite nice, but you might find better. Ship number five is a portal coat with a convenient pause. As a land on the planet, this is another one found by Kev. Thank you, Kev. This is also a very beautiful planet. But there's a combo, let's go there. Here's a planet location if you need it. It's a B class, but let's take it to space, have a closer look. When upgraded to an S class, it's got a nice little layout. Now it's time for ship number six, the final one. So here's the portal god with a convenient pause. It's 
So Land in a Planet, this one was found by Eric. Thank you, Eric. No combo, so let's pop a Dreadnought AI fragment. But with this one, I went to two locations. The first location was an A-Class. This is a planet location if you need it. But when upgraded from A to S, this is a layout, which isn't too good. So I went to the C-Class. And this is the C-Class planet location. When I upgraded this from C to S class, it had a much better supercharged slot layout. Even though the damage potential in this one looks lower, the previous one had rocket launchers installed. So it looks like the specs are the same on both ships. But let's go into space and have a closer look. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.